we'll go over an example uh, of defining a linear programming formulation for a particular problem. So let's just say that we have three products that we can produce product one, product two, or product three. So product one, so making one unit of product one takes 10 hours with machine one, 25 hours with, ma with machine two, and six hours of labor. And you can sell one unit of product one for $300. And it's similar for product two and product three. So product two it requires nine hours with machine one, six hours with machine two, four hours of labor, and you can sell one unit of product two for $150, right? We have some additional information that we have a capacity of 600 hours with machine one. We have a capacity of 350 hours with machine two, and we have a capacity of 1,000 hours for labor. So this means our, we cannot exceed 600 hours for machine one, and we cannot exceed 350 hours for machine two, and likewise for the labor. Our question is to define a linear programming formulation which maximizes profit. So the first step, let's first define profit in terms of um, the products. So the, the first thing we'll do is define some variables. Let's say that x1 is the number of units of product 1 that you produce. And similar, x2 is the number of units of product 2. And finally, x3 is the number of units of product 3. So the total revenue that we, we would make is x1 times $300 of product 1 plus x2 times $150 from product 2 and x3 times $200 from product 3. So the revenue is going to be so 300, 150, 200. x1 times 300 plus uh, x2 times 150 plus x3 times 200. Since this is the per unit cost, the per unit revenue, you make $200 per unit and whoops. And this is the number of units that you would uh, that you make. So that's the total revenue, and you subtract that by the total cost. So in our case, the cost is only uh, labor hours. Oh, I forgot to mention, labor hours are eight dollars an hour. So to figure out the total cost with labor you know that it's going to be 8 times the total labor cost. The total labor hours would be 6 times x1 plus 4 times x2 plus 2 times x3. Since say you make uh, 5 units of product 1, then that's going to require 30 hours of labor. So that's why you have x1 times 6. So you have 6 times x1 plus uh, 4 times x2 plus 2 times x3. And this is a profit equation. And this is the equation that we want to maximize. So we want to maximize this. And our constraints, so our constraints are as follows. Well, we have three main constraints. The number of hours for machine one, the number of hours for machine two, and the number of labor hours. 
So the number of hours for machine one uh, would be 10 times x1 plus 9 times x2 plus 3 times x3. So 10 times x1 plus 9 times x2 plus 3 times x3. This is the number of hours for machine 1 that we use if you make x1 units of product 1, x2 units of product 2, and x3 units of product 3. And we were told in the question that the number of hours of machine 1 has to be less than or equal to 600 hours. So that's what we that's what we'll put. It's less than or equal to 600 hours. And you do it similar for uh, product two as well. Product two, you you have an equation, and that has to be less than or equal to 350 hours. Similarly, for the labor, you sum up the total labor you'd have uh, for the three products, and that has to be less than a thousand hours. So I'll just uh, write it out, write it out. So for the machine two, you'd have 25x1 plus 6x2 plus 7x3 has to be less than or equal to 350 hours. And finally, 6x1 plus 4x2 plus 2x3 has to be less than or equal to 1000 hours. And this is for machine 1, this is for machine 2, this is for labor. So the final thing we have to notice um, is that x1, x2, and x3 all have to be greater than or equal to zero. Because uh, these are the number of units we make of each product and they have to be non-negative. So that this would be our linear programming formulation. We want to maximize this equation given these four conditions.